Okay. You put the tricks. coat on with nothing at all underneath. Oh, He's not even paying attention to the coat. <laughs> That queen. was wonderful. Yes. Wow. We are so excited to be here. Me, I'm excited because I'm with my girlfriend, Monique, and I she's begging. here all day. Woo! She's going to call her. And two, it's raining, so I got a chance to show you all my new raincoats. Because this show today is all about shots. Oh. <laughs> That's Louis Vuitton. Only you would. Only oh, yeah. you and would do that. Oh, yeah, still got the label in it. All right, honey. In case I change my mind, I'm going to take it back. Okay, now, you, you know what? I have got to tell you guys, I had to go out and get you something. Because you are such a grand diva. And I'm like, what can I get Sharon? And I said, she loves shoes. Oh, Her yeah. shoes are always beautiful. So I got you, precious, some shoes. I don't know if these shoes are going to be for you or Ozzy. Because I don't know who's going to appreciate them. When you put <gasps> these shoes on, baby, oh, girl. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That just says to me, Sharon Osborne. And I have a, a girlfriend that she, that's what she does. She makes shoes and she flies all around the country to sell people her shoes. She came in from Atlanta. I said, listen, Miko, I need something for Sharon Osborne. She said, Ozzy's wife? I said, yes. She said, girl, I got the perfect pair. No, so, these are yes, right baby. here. Right, girls? Look how sexy. Uh, my gift to you, baby. Now, you know what? I have to tell you because, see, most women think, Sharon, this is seven and a half, small feet, yeah, right? Yeah. And most women think with big feet, we cannot wear these type of shoes. Got a trick for you. Let me show you. This is my shoe. Voila. And this is the anklet that goes with it. Yes. So you wow. put this around your ankle and you put this shoe on. Now, you have to be careful because you can get pregnant in these types of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, they do have them in all sizes, and I know those are going to be fabulous. Just fabulous. fabulous. I am going to wear these with my Oscar outfit oh. to go to the Oscars. I think definitely. Yes. Right? Definitely. Yes. Come on. Let's sit down. Let's do it. Come on. All right. We and have... then we can, I can try my shoe on, and we're going to talk about shopping because we're both obsessed with it, as I know all of you are out there. Because I have to tell you, Monique, years ago, I didn't like to shop. Really? Now, because I was big and I could only fit in moo-moos, so I, I hated to shop because I, I used to literally live in moo-moos. Well, you, you, you know what makes the difference, though? I think now, if you were a big girl and you came back over again, you would have such a much better selection because I have my own clothing line coming out, baby, you next do. year. Yes. 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 Hey. And, and you know what? I have to tell you that because a long time ago, they only had moo-moos for big girls. There That's all they else. had. But now it's so much fashion, it's sexy, it's glamour. We're providing all of that. So we can do a size 2 and we can do a size 22 and both be sexy and glamorous. Now, I need to show Wait, you guys. Excuse me, when is this line coming out? This line is coming know. out next year, 2005, January. It'll be in all the major department stores and Walmart and Kmart. So it's affordable. <laughs> So, no. do you know what? That makes me feel better, because if I decide I want to eat, I can still look yes, good. Yes, indeed, honey. Yes, you can. All right. Now, I have to show you guys this shoe here while Sharon puts on her shoe, because it is absolutely incredible. Now, see that? It comes right there. And then you just put this sexy... Ooh, I'm just ooh. sexy. Ooh. Look at ooh. that. Ow. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Now, yes. that's... Gorgeous. And, and the color is beautiful. Yes, I'm going to wear it for the rest of the show. It Me doesn't too. Match, I'm wearing mine. But sometimes, there I'm you go. Wearing mine. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. Look at mm -hmm. that. Love it. All right. All right. So, shopping. On with our shopping show. And we get letters from girls all the time and guys that say they would like to go out.
at shopping but don't have the wherefore-all to do it. So, a girlfriend of mine, Lisa Renner, you mm -hmm. know her, uh -huh. that beautiful, gorgeous, blonde, skinny thing, and she has her own store, and she's saying, please come over, come over. I can never have time to go there. Mm -hmm. So we decided we're going to send somebody that's written to us, a viewer, over to her store, and they can go and pick a wonderful outfit wow. on us. So that's what we're going to do. In fact, we're going to go live over to the store. There's Lisa. Lisa! <laughs> Lisa's store is called... Bella Gray, and it has everything from shoes to bags to dresses, trousers, everything. So, Lisa, how are you? She's not. She... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's not moving. Excuse me. Excuse me, Harry Hamlin. What are you doing? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on. Le Le Lisa was supposed to be here. She's here in spirit. She's doing her show, Merge, up in Northern California. And so you thought you were getting beauty, but instead you're getting the beast. All right? But, but no, I, I actually deserve to be here because I have learned all about this shopping addiction from the quintessential addicted shopper. And here she is, Lisa Rinna. Yes. All right. <laughs> Stop till you clap, Lisa. So wasn't it your idea, Harry? because Lisa loves shopping so much to get her her own store. You got it. You know, I recommend this to every husband out there whose wife comes home and <laughs> sticks the shoe boxes in the trash before he gets home. Open your own store, you know, because now you look around, she's got all this stuff and it's all wholesale, Whoa. okay? So, which is good, but every once in a while she still tries to sneak something in, I have to say that. Now, Harry, Harry, Hey, baby. Yes, Monique. Do you yeah. have... Hey, Monique, how you there, doing? I'm fabulous, darling. There's a beautiful dress right behind you. It's like a peachy... The peach one the peach with one the lace. Just right behind you, precious. You see it? Other way, yes, Harry. Yes, right there. Okay, the Do peach you have dress. That? Yes, right. you have that in the 22. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll have to ask the manager, but we can get it in a 22. All right, that's Don't what I want to hear. Right? That's the good oh, yeah. and, and just as you turned around, I saw those little pink boots, Harry. Right, right. Little pink pinky boots. boots, yes. Oh, yeah, where are they? Give me some pink boots. Right round there, by the dress, the other way, Harry. That's it. Uh, right okay. there they you are. You see them, I don't. Where? Yeah, the pink boots. Oh, Harry. by the mirror over there. Yes. You want some of those? Uh, yes, please. You got it. Thank 11. you. No, no problem, Sharon. They're in 11 the mail, and okay? seven and a half. Yeah, 11 okay. and a seven and a half, and mm -hmm. we love you, Harry. And do you know what? I, I think that you ought to give lectures to husbands on how to catch their women when they've been shopping and try and hide it, because you know all the little secrets. Everyone. Well, you want to check the trash first <laughs> for the <laughs> shoe boxes, okay? And if one says Prada on it or Bloomingdale's or whatever, you know you've got them red-handed, right? <laughs> um, actually, L Lisa, th there was the coat that wouldn't go away about a month ago. Uh, Lisa comes home with a $2,000 coat from Neiman Marcus. I took a look at it. I said, um, you know, so where did this come from? Well, she gets really guilty, takes it back the next day, comes to me, says, Harry, the coat's gone. Don't worry, it's all over and done with. The next day, her best friend calls me up and says, Harry, look in the closet. She oh. couldn't take it back. No. She went back to buy the coat a second time. <laughs> wow. she, couldn't, she couldn't do it. She was so addicted she couldn't do it. Now, there have got to be programs, like 12-step programs for women like this. I don't know. We should, we should make them up if they don't have them. No, I think maybe that you and Ozzy should start one for us wives. <laughs> But is Ozzy an entrepreneur? Let's go for it. I think so. But see, so you know what? Now, we need to tell ladies the tricks. There are tricks that we can do that they won't get upset when you come home with a $2,000 coat or a 10 pair of shoes. I need you those tricks. You put the coat on with nothing at all underneath of it. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. So he's that not even work. paying attention to the coat when you drop it. He's like, wow, I love that. That coat was real cute and a trick. Whoa, oh, whoa. yeah. There you go. See, so tell Lisa uh, to call yeah. me. I'll teach you. Well, uh, I'm, I'm going yeah, to mention that to Lisa myself. There you that, go. That sounds like fun. Now, Harry, where is Erin, who we sent over to your store, so you can advise her on what she needs to wear? Because you've got great taste. So you're there. Well, thank you. You're going to yeah, take I, care of her. Where is she? Erin is right here. Erin, come on over. Hello. Look at this beautiful girl. She doesn't look like she needs any help to me, in fact. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's gorgeous, isn't she? 
just the way she is. Oh, you're too kind. Well, Aaron? I mean, come on. Yes, Sharon? Aaron, Hello. Tell, every, tell everyone here what you wrote to us about your story so they know why we picked you to be spoiled okay. today. Come on. Well, thank you, number one, for spoiling me. And um, well, I'm from Alaska, and my clothing style tends to be a little bit boyish, jeans, t-shirts, nothing very flattering. Um, I was robbed about a month and a half ago at gunpoint, so I've been kind of sad. Some things have, bad things have been going on in my life, and L.A. style just it hasn't translated into my life yet. I just see everyone walking around in these great outfits and looking. Women look so sexy, and I just feel like a boy. So I just wanted some help. And I really appreciate you. And Erin. Oh, I'm going to Vegas next month for a birthday party, and I have to look hot. Well, you're going to get something right there with mm -hmm. Harry, so you look stunning. But I want to know something else, right? You've worked two jobs, and you don't have money, extra money for clothing, no. right? No. I work two jobs. I work a lot. I um, got to pay my rent, car, food, all that good stuff. So shopping's get, not yeah. put to yeah, the back. I get put on the back burner. Well, you've come to the right place today. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a good time. Thank you. But just to give you some advice, honey, in the future, if you don't have a shopping spree, I'll tell you what to do with that outfit. Take that shirt, okay. pull it up some, ball the back of it in a knot, so now you have a little belly shirt, cut your jeans up the side, put on some ankle boots. Baby, you have a whole new outfit, and you're fashionable, stylish. You spend not one dime. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Okay. Aaron, Aaron yes. you get to work with Harry, and we're going to keep okay. checking back with you guys. And Harry, hold on to those boots. And <laughs> as we go to a break, you're going to watch my co-host do her thing from the hit UPN comedy, The Parkers. Have a look. I am so excited. My old high school friend Carla Sampson is coming to town tonight, and then Del and I are throwing her a surprise naughty girl party. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what's a naughty girl party? See, it's when the girls get together and we dress naughty and act naughty. Uh-uh. <laughs> Still ahead, two women talk about everyone's favorite hobby, shopping. And later, actor Harry Hamlin helps Erin, my viewer, choose a sexy new outfit. We're back, and today my co-host Monique and I are talking about shopping for the entire show. We'll meet a couple of shopaholics who put us to shame, Monique, really? let me tell you. <laughs> and we'll talk with a mum who's upset because her daughter has run up $20,000 in credit card debt. Wow. Ooh. Monique, last time you were here, okay, we were chatting and you told me all about Costco. Uh -huh. Do you remember? Yes, well, I we'll, do. We'll, we'll have a look. I was talking to the producers, and I was telling them about Costco's, and I was going to Costco's, and they said, well, you know, I don't think Sharon's ever been to Costco's. I said, well, I want to take her. They said, well, no, you don't, we don't have time, but bring some things with you. Now, see this right here? Mm -hmm. See, Costco's, and I, I mean, I don't, they said you've never been. No. So I have to take you. But Costco's is a big warehouse. You can buy any and every, you can buy tires to panty liners. Okay, now. <laughs> Teach my girl Sharon the beauty of Costco. And the only way you can truly see the beauty of Costco is you actually have to go there. Y'all take a look. Okay, now Sharon, mm -hmm. remember when I told you I was gonna bring you to the Costco's? Uh -huh. Today is the day and we are here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. One, three, we're gonna say Costco. One, two, three. Costco! Let's do it! Yes. See here? I'm feeling it now. 72. 72. Look at that. Look at that. In just this one little In box? just Vin Ultra. Okay. Always, then we're going to get two of them. Okay. One for you, one for me. Okay. There you go. Girl can never have enough. Don't we need any of these? No, ma'am, I don't play with those. Ozzy likes razors, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sharon. Here we go. Mac 320. Uh-huh. How many do we need? Mmm. More and more. More, more. More? Yeah. Hell. Let's just say all of them. Thank you. See what happens at the Costco. Hi. 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 What are you, Hi. What are, what are you cooking? Hi. It's a vegetable lasagna. You want to try it? Vegetable lasagna. Yeah, yeah Sharon. Sure. Vegetable oh, lasagna. Oh, thank you. When you get home late, you don't have time to cook. You pop that right in the microwave, feed the whole family. Uh -huh. There you go. See there? Uh -huh. 
long do you put it in the machine for? 15 minutes. 15? 15 minutes yes. microwave. Now the new term in the past codes is hitting it. Hitting it. Hit it. Let's hit it. Hit it. That means let's move. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Sharon. Look at the chicken, baby. They have thighs. You want no thighs? breasts. Yes, they have breasts. We need breasts. Do you know what I like about this? That what? you can come, you can get your toothpaste, your chicken, and your diamonds in one store. All right, here we go. Okay, what's the word? What's the word? What we have to do? We have to what? Get our free card. We have to. Now, how in the hell did you get freak on in the Costco? I said, hit it. Hit, hit it. it is the word. Let's hit it. <laughs> Let's hit it. Where did you get freak on? Now, I didn't teach you that. Now, at this point, we need another cart. So what we're going to do is we're going to recruit. How you doing, ma'am? Hi, how are you? Wonderful. Can I ask you a huge favor? Can we share your cart? Because as you can see, we're full. Sure. Thank you so much. See, Sharon, everybody at the Costco is friendly. We're going to come find you and get the toilet paper back. OK. Thank you so much, right. sister. Thank you. Thank you, baby girl. See there. Let's do what? We're going to do what? What's the word, Sharon? Damn it, I didn't told you. What, what is the word? <laughs> hit it. Hit it. Let's hit it. As you can see, our cart is running over. It's running over, so we need another cart. We don't know whose cart this is, but we're going to go ahead we're and just We're going to take it. it. Look at the, oh, baby, do you see the gray goose? Yes. Do you see the big yes. one? Come here. We will get toe up from the flow up. Now, Sharon? Yes, see? Okay. Is this your color? Let what do you see. think? Here, let's see. No, I no. don't know. No, no, we need something darker. I like this one because it comes up high right. through the crust. Right. I like that. Covers all your specialness. Oh, yeah. You have to walk with it because now we're going to the bling bling section. You have to walk like you're a blinger. I'm bling. That's how blingers walk. I'm bling. Do the bling bling. Look oh, oh, oh. at the bling. Jacob. Yes, in the Costco. Can wow. you believe no, I that? I believe that. That's nice. Look now, at that boy. That is $26,000 in the Costco's. Come on. Let's go and check it out. <laughs> See the special treatment because we're in the Costco's. Oh. Okay, now, Sharon, I'm going to show you how you do this. Okay. Thank you, Sheila. Thank you. All right, let's say goodbye to the Costco's. Wave goodbye. Bye, Costco's. Bye. All right, Monique. Was I a good student? <laughs> You're a great teacher, right? You were a Hit wonderful it. student. But, okay, but can I tell you that, because I said, Sharon, come comfortable. Dress, you know, comfortable. Yeah. So she says, okay, I'm going to fit in. So she wears a Chanel <laughs> sweatsuit. I'm like, girl, we don't shop in Chanel sweatsuits, Sharon. Stop it. But you were perfect, baby. You were perfect. I thought we were stunning. All right, when we come back, we're going to have a chat with some real shopaholics, and we'll keep checking in with Erin. So we'll be back. See you in a minute. Next, two women obsessed with shopping. Okay, Aaron, you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's take a look. What do you think? Well, well, you know, that's pretty cool looking. Are you comfortable in that? I like it. I just want, I mean, there's so many beautiful things in the store. I just need to check out everything. Well, you know what? I think you can do better. Than we can that. do let's better? Check okay, out. let's, 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 let's right look around. See what, see what we've got. Yeah. Okay, when I saw this home video, I had to meet this woman. She turned her shopping into a science. You've got to have a look at this. Okay, now we are looking at my shoe closet. And as you can see from panning down the wall here, um, there's about 400 pairs of shoes. Some of them are in individual little drawers that open up. And then some of them have two or three pairs in one box, but they're all numbered and I have a coordinating shoe catalog that tells me how to find those. Otherwise, 
I'm not sure how you would find them or how you would deal with it. We have it in here by categories, like for instance, animal prints. And under the animal print section, we have the red clear, vinyl pumps, uh, leopard mules. Oh, we have the leopard mules with red roses on top. And I put notes in here so I'll know about how long I can wear them. Like for instance, these says comfortable but not for prolonged walking or standing. So I know if I'm going dancing or going to go shopping, not to wear those shoes. I also have it indexed by the box number and then I have it indexed by the color. So this is sort of a quick reference if I need it. Now I don't have any of my clothing in a physical catalog because it's too much to do. So I have it on a computer disk where I keep it on an Excel spreadsheet and of course I'm scared to death of fire, oh my god. So I have one of the discs in the safe here at the house and my daughter has one of the discs and we trade out every month because when I add on to my disc here then, oh my god, I'm so confused. No wonder they think I'm crazy. Now, that's what I call a true shopaholic. I'd like you all to meet Dusty who is here with another shopaholic, Marge. All right, Dusty, your daughter wrote to us, okay? I and I didn't quite believe her letter till I saw that video. <laughs> Mrs., what's going on with all this? Well, I, it's an obsession. I love shoes along with everything else, so it, it kind of got uncontrollable. So I couldn't, like, go crawling through the closet with a flashlight, so I just put them all in numbered boxes. So and, shoe, yeah. shoes are your biggest the obsession? Biggest. Shoes are my, yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. So they're catalog cataloged in here by color. So if I want to wear a red pair, I turn to the red section. I say, okay, I want to wear these today. It's in box number 13, so I go to the closet. And now, how many pairs of shoes do you think are, are in here? Currently, there's about... 320 in there and there's about 30 more uh, sorry John if you're watching that's not been cataloged yet and uh, I recently just sold uh, 150 pairs and gave another hundred pairs to Goodwill I don't know what they're gonna do with a hundred pairs okay. of stilettos I just have a, a, a question okay <laughs> how long did it take you to put this novel together because this is a New York Times bestseller well oh, you're right here. Like right there. Well, at 250 pairs, it probably took me about a week to get it going. I took a vacation and, and did this, but now it's just a matter of keeping a camera handy. You just take a picture when you get it. And when the, when the roll's full, you cut it out, you put it in. The sheet's on the computer. All it is But I think you like this, doing this as much as you do the buying. You obviously get a lot of enjoyment out of logging. Well, I'm told that. I, I like computers and I'm kind of anal. I hear from my daughter who runs now. She, yeah. She doesn't go shopping with me. Okay, <laughs> but okay, now I, I know that America wants to know this question because I do. Who's rich? Like, who has the money that you can do this? Because this takes a day or so or a week. Like, who has all that money that you can buy 300 pairs of shoes, have time to put them in a book, take pictures? Do you work eight hours a day every day? Are you? Oh, I, yeah, I work. I try to supplement <laughs> my spending, my husband. <laughs> okay. okay, so women at home, this is what you don't do when you work an eight-hour day job. You don't have time to. I think this is the most incredible. I'm fascinated. I am, and I'm jealous. I'm, I'm fascinated because, too, I heard that you bought um, all this baby stuff for a nursery and you don't have a grandchild. And no babies. Well, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get one, but they... <laughs> I bought this beautiful round uh, uh, from Little Miss Liberty of Beverly Hills, this beautiful round baby bed with a circus tent top. I made, I sew, I create all kinds of things. I made all the linens for it, the poo linens. I painted a mural of life-size poo characters. And I get letters every now and then from one of our children that's come in and taken a picture of their dog or the cat in the baby bed, and they mail it to us. Here's your grand dog. Oh, Here's your grand wow. kitty. <laughs> now, Dusty, do you ever buy anything for your husband while you're out? Um, yes, I do. I, 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 I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. You did. I yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. All right, Maude, this is your turn now, okay? Because you emailed saying that you were a shopaholic. All right, what do you buy? What's your okay. obsession? Come on. I had to write them down because there, there's so much. I have at least over 50 pairs of shoes, 150 hang-up shirts, 45 skirts, 27 jackets, 32 dress pants, 23 dresses, 19 purses, 40 pairs of socks, 40 to 50 pair of underwears, the same with my bras, 
I have 30. <laughs> <laughs> I have 38 Winnie the Pooh stuffed animals, and in just my office, there was no way I was going to count the rest of the house in my entertainment center. I have 75 figurines. Okay. I'm into Winnie the Pooh and to nursing and so. Now, I, I heard that you have sectioned off parts of your home to store all your collection yes. in. I have those, those plastic closets. Mm -hmm. I have the great big huge one at the foot of my youngest son's bed, and that has my dresses, my skirts, and my jackets. Then I have my hall closet, and that's for strapless shirts or the thin straps and the short sleeve shirts. Mm -hmm. Then my other room that I made into the nursery, I have two of those. One is still more shirts with a long sleeve, and the other one is my now, pants. Now, what, do you, what <laughs> does your husband say? Does he get upset because your clothes are overtaking the house and you buy so much? He's pretty good. He's he really is. after 15 years of marriage. That's he's good. a really yeah. good guy. Yeah. Um, as long as I don't bring in the bags, he's happy. I mean, I, I can't even. My purse I bought. He says, "Oh, bought a new purse." I says, "No, it's old." He says, "What's old to you? Three days?" <laughs> but he knows everything. He I sounds buy. like he's got a great really sense does. of humor. I, I have a good job. He has a good job. So. Well, then that's We're not fine. In, you, yeah, you go, go for it. it. I, mean, I go have a nice it. savings, but this is more fun. Go I for it. Be, on spend, tomorrow. Spend it. Yeah, exactly. That's, right. that's good for what today. What does your husband say about you spending? Um, he once told me, <laughs> as long as I never see a shut-off notice on any utility and I never get a call from a creditor, I don't care. And I thought, oh, God, what a country. <laughs> that's, a, that's a wonderful man. Yes, oh, you fabulous. two are very, very he's lucky. fabulous. Well, that's continue to be happy. Continue. Yeah. Sure. All right. Shop till you drop. That's, that's my it. motto. Exactly. All right. Thank Thank you. More. <laughs> this is never more. That's right. Well, thank you very much, Dusty and Marge. Thank and you. later, we're going to see a mom who's upset with her daughter over $20,000 in debt on her credit Ooh. cards, and she's still shopping. Next, she's $20,000 in debt, but she's still shopping. Okay, Aaron, let's see outfit number two. Ooh. It's getting better. Ow! All right, you like the color. That's great. Turn around, let's see. All right. Yeah, what? what do you think? Do you feel comfortable in that? I feel very comfortable in this. It's um, very bohemian, kind of. We all love shopping, but some people it can be really get out of control with them. So we've got one of those people right here with us. 27 year old Jen is more than 20 grand in jet, but she still buys something every single day. Watch this video. Hi, my name's Jen. Um, just like to say hi, Sharon. I'd like to invite you into my world, and my world pretty much is shopping. I have underwear for almost every day of the year. Why? I have no idea. And I would like to introduce you to my shoe collection. These are all my shoes. These ones, I've only worn once. Very uncomfortable. Don't know why I bought them. Other ones, those brown, yeah, worn them once. Didn't like them. These are most of my shoes. I prefer black. Black or good. Shoes here. Never been worn. This is my car. This is my safe haven. When I go shopping, bags stay in here for a couple days until it's clear so I can bring them in the house. Please welcome Jen and her mom, Lynn. <laughs> Jen, when you emailed us, you said you had to buy something every single day. Yes. Do you think that's a problem? Um, it can get to a problem if I'm spending two or three hundred dollars a day on something. Mm. So yeah. When did you start this problem? When I was like 14, when I got my first job. Because at 14 you have nothing to buy but stuff for yourself. Mm. I had no bills, no nothing, mm -hmm. so I just go blow all my money. So I think that's where it started. So you had to move back home because you blew all of your money yeah, and you couldn't much. afford to stay yes. in your place. You went back home with your parents? Yes. With my mom, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you got debt with your credit cards yes, up to I 20 do. grand. 20 grand, yeah. Have you paid any of it off? Well, I pay the minimum payment, but that's about it. That's all I can really afford on mine. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh, that just made me nervous. <laughs> so, 
I think it makes my mother yeah, nervous too. Twenty thousand dollars yes. in debt. Yep. You move back home. Yep. Pay rent. No. Not yet. Okay. Twenty thousand dollars in debt. Yep. Move back home. Yep. Pay no rent. Yep. And you still shop every day. Yep. Damn it. I knew it. <laughs> Have you stepped in to try and sort this out, or your husband? Are you not worried here? We've tried. We sat down and done budgets with her, and, you know, she said, just shed a few tears and said, yeah, I know I've screwed up, and I'm going to do better, and I make my payments. And before we know, a couple of months have gone by, and she's been so upset, really she's gone shopping. Yeah, when I get upset, I shop. Oh, wait. You must get upset a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, a lot. I do. I've also lost a lot of weight, too. I went through a whole weight thing where I was a larger girl, and then I lose weight. And that should make you happy, And then though. I shop, and everybody's like, whoa, Jen, you look great, you look great. So I just keep buying stuff. Just keep, people keep telling me. And you keep going further and further in debt. Oh, hell yeah. What? So your dad is awesome. Yes. Because, like, he's on a cosign of one of your credit cards. Yes. But so eventually you're going to mess up his credit. Yes. Doesn't that bother you, Jen? It does, but it's just like... It's something I have to do. Like, I'm not, if, I, if I'm at home for a couple of days, mm -hmm. I get so sad. And I go out shopping, even if it's to, like, get a bag of chips or go to the grocery store. Have you store heard of the 99 cent store? Yeah. <laughs> you can shop yep. all day in your budget. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Jen. We're going to go to a break, but when we come back, we have actually got a financial expert here who is going to help you curb your spending. My so dad will I'm love very you. excited yes. for you. Yes. All right, we'll be right back. Still to come, a financial expert talks dollars and cents to shopaholics. So what do you do if your shopping is out of control? Let's ask financial expert Candice Barr, who is the author of It's More Than Money, It's Your Life. Okay, Candice, you do a program, a 21-day program, to try and rehabilitate shopaholics. Is that sort of like an AA-based program? Well, actually, what we do is we have something called a money club. Because what we've seen in this whole segment is people get a lot of reinforcement from going out and spending money. But the reality is we can reinforce our friends for saving money. So what we do is we talk about ways to save, ways to invest. And we do have a 21-day debt makeover program where this is all free. It's nonprofit. It's at moneyclubs.com where you sign up and for 21 days, We'll send you an email and tell you exactly what to do that day to get out of debt. The whole idea is to support each other in creating financial freedom for each other rather than putting people in the poorhouse. Well, what, do you, what do you do with people like Jen who gets that urge, uh, she's depressed if she doesn't go out and, and get something for herself? What is your advice? What right. do you do? There are basically three kinds of people. In our book, we talk about hoarders, avoiders, and splurgers. You've just had a whole show about splurgers. And so Jen's getting a lot of reinforcement for spending money. You're feeling good about it. But spending money is like being on a roller coaster. It's exciting. It feels good. And then all of a sudden you hit the high and the low comes when the bills come. And that's what mm -hmm. your mom's feeling here. Yeah. <laughs> She's feeling the bills. You're not feeling the bills. She needs to start feeling the bills. Now should they, should Jen's parents have let her move back home? Should they have let her come back? You know what? I think it's great. And she needs the support of her mom. But you're enabling Jen. Mm -hmm. You're making it way too easy for Jen to keep on spending. So you need to set up some very firm guidelines for Jen. You're saving rent. That rent should be going to your mom, and that rent should be paying off your bills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. What is, like, the youngest person you've ever had to deal with? Because I look at this problem, and it starts really, really young. I think it starts at yeah. uh, teenagers. But I think it get... starts with the parents when they take their little baby daughters and sons shopping and they buy them things that are so ridiculous. Like if I buy my son a pair of, my limit is $100 on sneakers. Well, he's 13. My limit is $100. I don't care that Michael Jordan put out something for $350. It's $100. Yes, I can afford it, mm -hmm. but it starts with the parents. Mm -hmm. It starts when you say, come on back home, and we'll just protect you, and we'll make it all better, and we'll shelter you. That's when it, it, it just keeps on 
rolling down the hill. Yeah. What, what you want to do is you obviously want to model the proper behavior, but you also want your children to be aware of consequences. Mm -hmm. Jen's not quite aware of the consequences mm -hmm. here yet. So one thing that you can do is start with your kids very young, give them allowance. When they run out of money, they're out of money. Mm -hmm. it, it's not an open pocketbook. It's not the bank of mom. We don't keep on on fulfilling our kids' Thank needs no matter mom. what. I like that. Because, yeah. You know what Jen said in the break? She said, as long as they keep doing it, I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah. So she's admitting, as long as they keep letting me sit there and not pay rent, yeah. guess what? I'm going to yeah. shop every day. Yeah. So today, Mama, you make a decision. Mm -hmm. Rent as soon as you get home, Jen. Yeah. Well, she's <laughs> always made her own money, so that's, that's where the responsibility comes in. We've never had to bail her out of debt or pay something for her unless it's an emergency. Um, so she's always been responsible that way, but in the last few years, it's it's gotten worse. But Lynn, you know, Jen has debt, and you will have to bail her out. If she's 27 years old and has $20,000 worth of debt, and you're making the minimum payment, it's going to take you 25 years to pay off that debt, and by the time you're done, you will have paid $50,000 wow. for your 20. So the bargains that you're getting, the $50 blouse that you put on your credit card tomorrow. It's going to cost you $125 mm -hmm. by the time you're done. So it's not a sale. It's not a bargain. When you look at it that way, it's frightening. Yeah, it's a little mm -hmm. scary. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm kind of regretting the outfit I bought for your show. <laughs> but you look bad with your hair. So <laughs> come on. I look good. You look hot. But you look good. good. I want you to know, though, that there's support. And so if you look at moneyclubs.com, and there are other women that are dealing with these issues and learning how to save, and so we can help each other. The whole idea is to take small steps. All right. Well, we thank want to say you. thanks to Candace, Jen, and Lane. And next we'll check with Mary Hamlet and see what sexy number you picked up there. On Lane. Yes. Next, Erin shows off her sexy outfit with Harry Hamlin. If you know one thing about me, you know my life is an open book. There's nothing I won't talk about. If you like me and you want to share your own story on my show, give me a call on one 888 hey sharon My viewer, Erin, has been with Harry Hamlet and his wife, Lisa Renner. Well, actually, she's not there, but they're in her store, which is called Bella Gray, all afternoon. Now, I want to know what's going on there. Let's have a look. Let's see these outfits. Yes. Come on, Harry. What's going on? Okay. Well, Erin has been looking around the store for a long time. She's put on a few outfits. I think she's found the one that she likes the most. She's just about ready. Are you just about ready? I'm ready. Okay. Drum roll, please. <laughs> That's nice. That's okay. That's nice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very flattering. Very, very, very flattering. Yeah. We like that. We like that, we like that Aaron. You like the, it? The, the last top you had on, the, the orange top. And Wasn't the, happening on we, you. Yes. Yeah. We didn't. Okay. Right. But that, that's very flattering, very sexy. You're going to be hot in Vegas. Now, is the, oh, necklace, you, is the necklace from the store, too? It is. Who is this? The, the necklace is by Kimmy Winters, and these are all one-of-a-kind pieces. She's been with us since our uh, day one, and they're absolutely amazing. She travels all over the country, and she finds the little bits and pieces and puts them together. They're extraordinary Kimmy Winters pieces, one-of-a-kind. Well, love it. you are going to look hot in Vegas. Now, Erin, right? make sure you, you stand you. like that the whole time. You have to stand okay. with one foot. You know, the heel of your shoe in front of the toe. It gives you, exactly. Back. Stand like that the whole time you're in Vegas. Even when you walk, you scoop. Okay. Stand like that. Attitude, baby. It's all about the attitude. I'll bring it out. I'll bring it out. There you go. Harry. All right. I think it's extraordinary, huh? You've done a Thank great you. job today, Harry. Thank you so much for being yeah. part well, of the show. Well, she did it. I did nothing. She did the whole Thank thing. Thank you, Sharon. Thank Aaron, you. good luck, okay? And Thank more you. luck in your life, Mrs., okay? Only good Thank things you happen much. to you now, all right? God bless so. you both. And thank, thank Lisa you. for us. Give yes. her big kisses. Absolutely. I should All right. Be so thank you. you.
Okay, we have to say thank you to Lisa Renna. Now make sure you go to Belgrade in Sherman Oaks, California. Also, to find uh, Sharon and I's shoes, gorgeous, check out gorgeous yes, shoes. Fem Deluxe shoes. Yes. Check out Sharon's website. It's on the website. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Monique. And I must say, I think that Monique and I, <laughs> Monique and I are the new view right here. Yes, okay? Yes, <laughs> Now, on tomorrow's show, we have Wayne Brady from Love Soul him. Food, my girl, Vanessa Williams. Gorgeous. And actress and comedian, Kathy Najimy. Oh, so, yeah. So, see y'all tomorrow. <laughs>